Hi, I'm Jeff Morgan, owner of Recognitions, Awards and More, home of Morgan House Wood Projects. We manufacture shadow boxes here at our Aviston, Illinois facility. These are two of the examples of shadow boxes that we make here. We also do setups for these shadow boxes for our local customers. A lot of people that are not local are always asking how they can do the setups for their boxes. Well, this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to do those setups. So what you need to do, the items you're going to need, and um, how you can do it yourself. These are really very easy to do. So I hope you enjoy this video. So stay tuned to learn a little bit more. Okay, now before we get started, I'm going to show you some tools that I'll have, uh, easy tools that's usually laying around the shop or, or around uh, the garage, um, or you can kind of improvise with different things. Um, these I've got are little pieces of hardboard. They're just little straight areas that I've got different sizes, I believe a half an inch, um, quarter inch, or three eighths maybe. Uh, just different spacing so I can keep the spacing the same on all the different items that I'm trying to, to put in the shadow box. Um, so those are real easy to have. Um, tape measure if you're trying to find the length of, uh, of the whole shadow box area to find your middle or put spacing between each of your different items if they're larger than something else. Uh, just a little straight um, ruler. Uh, and also a longer straight edge um, for, uh, you know, like across the top, if you're trying to line everything up across the top. Um, just a little X-Acto knife. Uh, just easy to, to cut things. Um, some painter's tape. I use it because it has a low tack. Um, so it won't pull anything up or disturb the uh, the the fabric background that we have on them, um, because once you line everything up, when you pick it up to put your adhesive on there, your uh, I always mark tape or one of my little pieces of wood to know exactly where that part goes back down or where that item goes back down to uh, to glue it up. Um, just a pair of scissors if you have to trim anything. A um, pair of um, tweezers. Just common tweezers if you uh, need um, to hold anything real small. A um, pair of pliers if you're trying to hold something. Uh, these also have a pair of wire cutters on them. Like so. I don't recommend this type. Because if you see right in here, that's a pretty big dip down in there. So it leaves a lot of, uh, of a pin uh, protruding. So that's why I will go with a pair of these wire cutters. That way there's not much left after cutting the pins on your different um, badges, ranks whatever so then again that's just to cut these little tabs off on the back side and I'll show you that here in a little bit uh, a lighter just a little barbecue grill lighter um, I use it for like patches to try to get some of the little hairs or threads I should say um, to get rid of them it works real easy Way real easy just to get them all prettied up just lightly hitting those threads that way it makes the patch nice and clean 
on the edges so you don't have any any thread showing uh, unless you're looking for the uh, faded patch look um, which I've, I've seen some you know some people have said you know don't don't trim them because that's the way you know I wore it um, that's the way it ended up uh, after I took the patch off so however the customer wants however you want to do your own shadow box um, you know that's all up to you so these are oh, in the adhesive um, So we use this, uh, it's a Dow um, 732. This is a small tube of it that we have. Uh, we will, um, we sell these. They're, I believe, around $10. Um, this is enough to do probably um, two or three shadow boxes with quite a bit of stuff in there, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, it comes with a, a little tip. You cut a little 45 on it and, um, screw that on the top and get you a nice little bead of uh, adhesive so like i said we use a clear silicone adhesive um, you, you buy them in the, the uh, box stores um, ours is a smaller box of it you know it's a little tube uh, like this um, we also buy it in the bigger ones see box stores you're probably going to be getting it in one this size um, I, i'm not exactly sure if they have smaller ones um, we use quite a bit of it here, so we always, for internal use here, uh, when we do our setups, uh, we use this, and then also um, we will uh, put the glass in the shadow boxes with this as well. So this is what holds, uh, on most of the shadow boxes, this is what holds the glass into the shadow box. Well, that's just a few of the tools uh, that you could use in setup of a shadow box. Um, there's many more things out there I'm sure other people use, uh, but these are the main ones that we will use in the setups. So this will cover this episode of uh, setting up your shadow box, just the tools that you need. Uh, the next one will be setting up the items uh, to put in your shadow box, how to prep them uh, to be able to uh, set them up. So uh, join us uh, for the next one. If you um, like this video, Give us a thumbs up down there in the comments and um, leave us a comment if you'd like um, and appreciate you watching. Thanks.